Welcome back to Anvil Doom Miniatures. My name is Dietz, and boy oh boy has my miniature backlog been building. I started off this year with quite a large collection of high elves, and towards the end of the year, I pretty much have miniatures for every single Warhammer Fantasy army. But hey, that's not a bad thing, because it means I get to show them off to you today, and also it might give you a bit of an insight to what's coming around the corner on the channel. Now, I've got a lot of miniatures, so I'm only going to show a few from each army, just things that I'm kind of looking forward to painting for you guys. But before we dive into my crippling addiction and where all my money's been spent, I thought I'd share with you guys something I've been working very hard on and that is Anvil of Doom's very first sticker pack. Now all of these have been drawn by myself and they're kind of a little tribute to the game we love so much. These will be released in the future, I don't know when, but for your chance to win the very very first sticker pack, stick around to the end and I'll tell you how you can do that. Now Lizardmen are pretty special to me because they're one of the first armies I kind of laid my eyes on and they're actually one of the first armies I actually laid my hands on as well as my neighbour who lived up the street when I was younger got a box of these classic skinks. Now I recently managed to get my hands on a box of these as well so I was thinking about doing a batch paint of these for the channel in the future. And I know, I know, I hate batch painting, but I'm actually really looking forward to this one because this is going to hit the nostalgia for me just in the right spot. Also, I got my hands on this Croxagorn Mini from Weekend Warrior Minis. He sent it all the way from the United States to Australia for me, so thanks so much, mate. I appreciate it. Make sure you go check his YouTube channel out. He does some pretty cool stuff. And also, on the channel one day, I want to paint up 5th Edition Slan Mage, so I'm on the hunt for one of those as well. So you can look forward to probably seeing some more Lizard Men stuff coming up. Now dwarves are an army I adore so much and that's because they have so much character and really who doesn't love painting a good beard? I froth painting a good beard. Now my collection of dwarves has been growing and these are just some of my few favourite miniatures I've got my hands on. I just want to say a big thanks to Madge over from New Zealand who sent me this dwarf flame cannon. I can't wait to get some paint on this one as well. So thanks for being a friend of the channel mate. I really appreciate it. And this year I also got my hands on a very special mini which is this Warhammer Quest Dwarf Slayer. Now I've been after this guy for so long and to get it in a sealed box box is just mwah, chef's kiss. I'm really, really excited for it. And I've got something special for this one as well coming up in the future. Now you know me, I'm the world's biggest high elf simp, and I have shown my collection in previous videos, so I won't go too much into it, but I'll just show you a few favorites that I'm looking forward to painting this year. This Prince Imeric on a dragon is screaming for a coat of paint. I'm really excited to paint that. And I also got this classic chariot, which I'm pretty excited to paint as well. I love building kits, so this one looks like a bit of fun. And I'm really excited to paint this Teclas up as well. Last year in the Olden Demon, there was like 50 bloody high elf Teclases that were painted. So I really want to paint one up and I probably won't paint it for Olden Demon, unfortunately, because I don't want to be lost in the numbers. One more miniature from high elves that I'm going to paint this year is this high elf Tyrion that I did get my hands on. The only thing that I'm missing are the little helmet wings. So as soon as I find those, this guy is going to get a coat of paint. So time to move on to the Wood Elves, and now I love Wood Elves as well. They're a great army. They look so good when they're all bundled up together, and I really do love painting them with like a yellow and a dark green paint scheme. I think that makes them really pop. Now, I was lucky enough to be gifted this Spellweaver and this box of Eternal Guards along with their command by a top bloke named Cody. Thanks so much, mate true friend of the channel. I'm looking at doing them for a batch paint. I really do love the sculpts of these minis. They look really great when they're all stacked up together. Also, I managed to get my hands on this score, the Falconer mini, and I've been wanting to paint this as soon as I got it, but you know, everything just keeps getting in the way. So he will be painted eventually as well. And there's one other thing which I've been on the hunt for, which I want to paint for you guys. And that is the original forest dragon. Now, these things are really hard to come by and I've nearly got one once, but I was too slow on marketplace. So I will find it eventually. And that guy is just like, kind of like a bucket list thing. Something that I really want to tick off. Definitely, hopefully this coming year. Now I get the odd message from people saying paint more green skins and I'm starting to really love orcs and goblins. And after painting that black orc for October, it really started to grow on me that I really enjoy painting these guys. I just want to try perfect their skin a little more. I have this urge to kind of finish the unit. So I've got a few black orcs here ready to go to get a lick of paint on them. Also this year, I managed to get a very, very special box. Now sitting out on my couch Sunday afternoon, my dad rocks up to my house saying, oh, I've got some old Warhammer for you. And he handed me this box. It's a Ruglands Armored Orcs regiment of renown i'm really excited to paint these guys as well when i did get the box though it was missing two miniatures the legend that is paul over in canada came to my help i put a message out asking if anyone could try track these down for me because they're a bit hard to find in australia and he managed to find them for me and he sent them over and i just received them the other day so thanks so much paul i really appreciate it mate you're a legend 
There are a couple of the miniatures which I ordered and I'm really excited and they're on the way to me right now. I just don't have them in my hands, they're in the post. And that is a Gobbler and Skarsnick Goblin and Squig. I've never painted a Squig before and I'm really excited to paint one. So that should be coming very, very soon as well. Now next year is the year of the chore for me. I'm gonna make it my mission to get out there and get as many of these chores as possible. They're really, really hard to find here in Australia. I'm guessing they're a little bit easier in the US and the UK to kind of track. You can probably find them a bit easier and the postage isn't too ridiculous. But anyway, that doesn't matter. It's my mission to track down as many as I can. But these are a few that I have managed to find. I did find this bolt thrower crew of hobgoblins. I just need to track down the bolt thrower itself. And this hobgoblin wolf rider was found actually in Adelaide by another friend of the channel, Luke, the legend. And uh, he let me know that he found it in a store. He sent me a photo and I just said to him, mate, grab it. I'll flicker you the money, send it over. So I managed to get one of those and I was really excited about that. Last but not least, I have managed to track down a Chaos Dwarf Sorcerer on Lamasu, and that will be getting painted very, very soon. I was so excited when I got my hands on this model. It was really, really hard to find and it was such a relief when I had it in the mailbox and I pulled it out. I had a really good day. I was just so happy to finally get my hands on that. But I am looking for other units and other models for my Chorf army and next year is going to be Year of the Chorf. Now here are some other random minis which I've got some ideas and cool things to do for the channel to paint these guys up. I got this Light Wizard from Floristan, he sent it over to me so thanks so much for that mate, I appreciate it. I've got a really good idea what I'm going to do for that. This year as well I'm going to start on my Isle of Blood box set, I'm going to start painting up some of those miniatures, especially the Skaven in them because after painting up that Screaming Bell, oh, it would, I had so much fun doing that, even though it was a bit of a slog, that I want to paint some more Rat Boys, so there definitely will be some more Rat Boys coming up. Now that's pretty much it for the miniatures I have, but I'm on the hunt for undead miniatures, dark elves, and heaps more empire miniatures as well. But I'll leave those as a surprise for when I get them and I'll sprinkle them in throughout the year. But don't worry, I think every army is going to be getting painted up this year, pretty much. Even Tomb Kings and Bretonia, everyone's going to get their go on the channel. I'm really excited to paint even a wider variety of miniatures on the channel. There really is something about painting a variety of miniatures which really gets me going. I know a lot of people are really into the gaming side. I'm only starting slowly to wrap my head around that and kind of get into that, but painting miniatures is really what I love about the hobby the most. And painting a variety of things from different armies really does get me going, especially all those old sculpts. That's enough of me babbling on about my pile of shame. So let's get into the details on how you can win the very, very first Anvil of Doom miniatures sticker pack. And to win this is pretty simple. All you gotta do is let me know down in the comments what you want me to paint this year. It can be absolutely anything. It can be a single miniature, it can be a batch paint. It could even just be what army or faction you wanna see more of. And in a few weeks time, I'll pick one person at random to win the very first Anvil of Doom sticker pack and you can win a bunch of these stickers. Kind of like a New Year's present from the channel to you. But anyway, my dudes, that's my pile of shame that I've accumulated this year. I've got plenty more sitting there, which I haven't shown, that I probably will show in the future, and they can kind of slip in, in and out the channel here and there. But thanks so much for watching. I thought I'd make an easier video this week because I've been painting like a madman, and I do have a batch paint going on right now. But yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Cheers.